So what do we think? What do you think we lost weight? Would like to see a certain number, but it'll be what it's gonna be. What's your fantasy number? 279. Okay, okay, yeah. So just yeah, dipping under the 280. Yeah. There. Yeah. There. I'm hoping to be 279 today, but if it doesn't get there, I still feel like I'm working hard, I'm on the plan, and it's a marathon, not a sprint. Oh my god. That says 277.3. That's a sexy peanut butter. That is a sexy peanut butter. Kill it. Oh. Killing it. What's up? Oh, I'm so happy. I'm very happy. I'm so proud of you. So awesome. So oh. proud of you. You're awesome. Harder, let's go. There I there feel you. stronger there than you. ever. I feel faster than ever. My endurance is like amazing. <sighs> and that's an extra motivator to stay on the planet. Katie brings out the best of me, the best of my willingness to change my lifestyle. Six more. <sighs> She's more than a trainer. Good. Nice, nice control. She's more like a life coach. I would have done it on my own. Let's see where I'm at. I'm 134.8. It has been hard to lose the weight. When I told people about the project, their first response was, well, it'll be so easy for you to lose it. <laughs> There's not one human being that didn't say that to me. Like, my mother, you know, said that to me. Oh, you'll get it back right away. You know, that sort of infiltrated my expectations. It's not like it just melted off. I'm definitely more grateful. I'm definitely more humble. I think change is hard. I had a very, very excruciating gout attack. And I had to cancel Friday and Saturday's planned workouts with Katie. I've been eating much better, drinking much less, and I'm having much less control over my gout attacks. It's very frustrating to behave better and to get worse. There should be some reward for the changes. The pain is so throbbing, it's like a knife. And someone just keeps stabbing me over and over again. I had a meeting with the nutritionist. When I asked her how long this is going to last, she says it could last another month. The point of all this was to feel good. I don't feel good. So if I'm doing all this and I don't feel good, and I might as well do what I want and not feel good. I'm ready to make a cheeseburger bacon sandwich. I'm so frustrated. I've had a really rough two months, and I'm really worried that I actually don't know that I could do it. It's been really hard. One thing I wanted to share with you right now that I don't really talk about with you is that I've been struggling recently with my weight loss. Yo, bro, this is so hard. And like watching you push through it and struggling so hard, the moment I have those moments, I remember you and it forces me to work that much harder. I don't know what my experience would be with weight loss right now if we weren't doing this together. And it's kind of amazing how much when it comes to reaching to that lifeline, you're my lifeline without a doubt. Well, you know you're my life. You're well on your way to completing this project. Once you complete it, that is a check mark. That should positively reinforce you that you can do this. But I still have to do it. And what we keep doing is making these small goals, right? You'll just make more small goals. Do you believe it? I still have a lot of work to do, and I've got to just make the change. That's the best I got right now. <laughs>